Today, we're gonna fly one of my favorite airplanes, the TVM 850, to one of my favorite places, the Bahamas. Miami, Florida, Bimini, let's get this started. Welcome aboard everybody. We'll start at the TVM here. Put a boost on. Starter is energized. Watch the NG for a rise up. As soon as it stabilizes as high as it's gonna go, we're gonna introduce fuel to low idle. There we go. Now we have light off. Watching the ITT for hot start, NG for hung start. Oil pressure is coming up, along with the oil temperature. Love the sound of that turbine. All right, there we go. Good start. Our initial contact device. You have information, Juliet. All right, we have information, Juliet. Go to ground frequency and pick up our IFR clearance. We'll block your ground. Good morning, November eight five one Tango Bravo. Over second show with Juliet. Looking to pick up our IFR. TVM 851 Tango Bravo, Hope Lock of Ground, good morning. Clear to the Mike Yankee Bravo Sierra Airport via the Miami 6 departure. Beach transition, then as filed. Maintain 2,000, expect 5,000, one zero minutes after departure. Departure frequency 128.6, squawk 4646. Cleared over to Bimini, Miami 6 Beach, transition as filed, maintain 2,000, we'll expect 5,000, 10 minutes after, 28.6 on departure frequency, squawking 4646, number 851 Tango Bravo. TBM 1 Tango Bravo, readback is correct, have yeah, a good day. Roger, thanks, uh, we're actually approaching uh, spot 3 with Juliet, and we're ready to taxi over for 1 Tango Bravo. TBM 1 Tango Bravo, runway 9 or left, taxi via November 6 and November. November 6, November to 9 left, number 851 Tango Bravo. Alright, we gave the marshaller out there a quick flash of the taxi light. We'll follow his hand instructions out of here. Tango, remain this frequency coordinating your release of Miami. All short of Tango. I'd like to welcome everybody on board. Hope everybody's been doing good. Special treat here today, get to fly the TVM850 out to the Bahamas. That's not too often that happens. Usually it's another type of airplane I fly. If you do like these videos, please smash that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel. Also ring that little bell. Let you get a notification when I do upload a video. Our taxi instructions are November 6, November to 9 left. I'd like to thank all my patrons on Patreon.com for supporting the channel. It goes a long ways to keep this channel going. TBM1 Tango Bravo, hold short of taxiway Tango. Remain this frequency coordinating your release with Miami. I'll just hold short of Tango and stay with you, 1 Tango Bravo. Alright, we're coming up here on the intersection of Tango. Been told to hold short behind this guy. Up to Tango taxiway. And they're just waiting for our IFR release let us take off. So we'll sit here for a little bit and wait it out. TBM1 Tango Bravo, you filming today? Actually, I am. Uh, uh, thanks for asking. Can I give a shout out? Sure, what do you, would you like to say to the viewers? Hey, what's going on, viewers? Don't let uh, 
CBM1 Tango Bravo, fool you, he is a great pilot. And hi, Sarah, I will see you soon, hopefully. There we go, thanks for following along, and uh, we'll stay tuned. Thanks, buddy. Exact at 940, continue taxi, contact tower. See ya. Exact at 940, we'll pull up and call tower, thanks. All right, looks like oh, a, rounds, November 1, our ground frequency guy here up in front, signature with a fan of the channel. That's pretty cool. Falcon 1978 X-ray, hope locker ground. Sarah, Roman thanks for watching. If you're watching, November 6 and November. Whoever Sarah may be. All right, the guy in front of us has been given his clearance to taxi up, and we'll still continue to hold short here at Tango. Put the parking brake on. You'll get a parking brake light when you put that on. The red light. But so today's flight is projected to be around 17 minutes. Not a long flight from Miami to Bimini. Getting over to the Bahamas is pretty easy from South Florida. Today we filed IFR. You could go VFR, but I wanted to show you guys some IFR procedures, so we'll do an IFR flight. Once we get close to the island, we'll cancel and continue into the island VFR. Look down at the iPad here for flight. We have our taxi diagram out. You can zoom right in. You can see us holding short of the Tango intersection right there. Wait for clearance to taxi up and hold short. TBM 1 Tango Bravo, continue taxi and contact tower, get some sun for me. Roger, thanks, so continue taxi and over to tower, 851 Tango Bravo, okay. Legacy 9 Echo Echo, hold short of Tango 3 and remain... Alright, we'll go over to the tower frequency. Open lock of tower, good morning, November 851 Tango Bravo, hold short of 9 left. November 851 Tango Bravo, open lock of tower, roger, hold short, only 9 left. Only short, 9 left, November 851 Tango Bravo. Pull up to the hold short bars here and we'll hold short. November 851 Tango Bravo, fly heading 090, runway 9 or left, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, 9 left, we'll fly 090 in the heading, November 851 Tango Bravo. Alright, we've been given our takeoff clearance, crossing the hold short bars here, clear on final, clear down the runway. Double lock tower, XOJ 548. Are you guys ready to go to the Bahamas? I know I am. XOJ 548, double lock tower, runway 9 brought your sunscreen. Full land, 9 left, XOJ 548. Line up here on center line. This is 9 left, and here we go. Take off power. Miami 1, frequency change through. Miami 1. Is set. A little temperature pressure is all look good in the green. Holding our center line here. Get off the ground pretty quick on the ground roll here today because we've got some pretty strong wind coming right down the runway. There's our rotation speed. we got a lot of runway ahead of us, so we didn't even have to worry about using Since we still have a lot of... Uh, only left out and run up in front of us that could, we could use if we had an issue. We'll keep the landing gear down. Now we would not really be able to use any more runway, so we'll put the gear up. And we'll go flaps up. Yaw damper on. One Tango Bravo, contact Miami departure. Good departure, have a good day. One Tango Bravo. 32. Miami, good afternoon. I've already five One Tango Bravo, 800 climbing to 2000. 851 Tango Bravo, my departure radar contact. Alright, we'll let the autopilot have some fun. IS mode, and the autopilot is now on. A little rain shower off at our 11 o'clock out there. Got the Dolphins Stadium off the left side, you can see over there. That's where the Miami Dolphins play. The Hard Rock Stadium. We're gonna go into 850 mode. Flap the lever up and over the gate. Now we can advance the torque. Past 100 percent, leveling out at 2,000 feet. This is what we were assigned. Beautiful day to be flying. One Tango Bravo, come maintain 3,000. Climb maintain 3,000. One Tango Bravo. 3,000 setting our altitude selector. And we VS it 3,000 feet a minute. One Tango Bravo, did you want to stay 3,000 or do you want to climb to five? I would like to climb to five. I think that'll get us right above the little cloud layer here. You'll smooth the ride. One Tango Bravo, Roger, come and maintain 5,000. I maintain 5,000, one Tango Bravo, thank you. So I opted for 5,000, that'll get us up above this little cloud layer that we have, that'll smooth out the flight, because I know you guys... Three, five, six, two, Delta. Oh, want a nice smooth flight, right? So if you can see down below the clouds here, coming up on the intercoastal, real good view down there, it's beautiful. I think the fly IFR is when flying truly becomes fun, fun in my opinion. It gives you the true sense of getting to fly around different clouds and in and out of them. This is my job, uh, flying this airplane. It's my full-time job. 
if you guys are considering wanting to become a pilot or to do it professionally or just for fun. I partnered up with Jason Shepard over at M0A.com. He's got a good online ground school. Be sure to check it out. It's in the description below. I'll link his YouTube channel. 1857, two for 3, He'll guide you along and uh, give you tips on the best way to get your ratings and save time and money. I stopped at the Banyan FBO. We, I got all the paperwork filled out to enter the Bahamas. And then I also did an EAPIS online. Put in the aircraft information and then who's on board, which is me right here on this flight. So the government knows who's crossing the border in and out of this country. Those are a couple of the steps you're going to want to do. I also called and gave my notice of arrivals for when I go back in, in the coming days back into Fort Lauderdale. You can do your notice of arrivals one day in advance. Miami 851 Tango Bravo, any chance I get 10 left? Who's that? 851 Tango Bravo. Number one Tango Bravo approved is requested. When able, proceed direct Bimini. Roger, thanks. Uh, 10 left approved and when able, direct Bimini. 851 Tango Bravo. Okay, these cars are not too bumpy, but this one right in front of me just looked a little bit more bumpy than I'd want to go through right now. And there's a nice little gap right there, so we'll hit that. When you fly long enough, you can basically judge each and every cloud how bumpy you think it's going to be. The one right to it right here was a little, you know, a little bit bumpier than I would want to go through. Contact. Come and maintain 4,000, turn left heading 330. 4,000 left, 330, 78 X-ray. And this controller was nice and he gave us direct to our destination when able here. So we'll highlight Bimini, direct enter, enters. And it looks like we can go direct Bimini at this time. We're going to nav mode. Number 78 X ray contact, my departure 119.45. 1845, say next year. See ya. Miami approach, good afternoon. That's the number 611 Sierra Golf, 4,000 to find North Red. VFR, Hugh Formation, Kilo, Adolfo Loca, East, on board. 611 Sierra Golf, Miami approach, I'll maintain VFR. Say VFR, 10. Hopping in and out of these clouds, these clouds wouldn't be too bad. Six miles opposite direction, 1,000 feet, that's a sky. I'll never forget my first time yeah, flying in the clouds. The it's such a cool sensation. Number seven zero Papa traffic, twelve o'clock, six miles. Being up in direction. front of the airplane, we'll piloting the airplane. We'll be looking for the traffic, seven zero Papa. So we're going to be staying at the Hilton on the north side of Bimini for a couple nights. And today, guys, I got something exciting that we're going to try to do. Look down that ocean, and the one thing that scares me the most that's in that ocean is sharks. I don't know how you guys feel about sharks, but today we're going to go cage diving in a cage with some pretty big bull sharks. I'm told that these sharks, they'll come up and slam up against the cage and everything else. And they, you know, it's going to be pretty exciting, so stay tuned. We're going to go explore the island a little bit, and then we're going to put on your swimsuit. Because we're going to be jumping in that water Papa, Papa, first traffic in a cage the Skyhawk is now with the some pretty big sized bull sharks. So that's going to be pretty exciting. So stay tuned to the end of the video for that. Hopefully we come out of it with all our hands and feet. Alright, so we'll go start monitoring the Unicom frequency, 22.8, which is a pretty common frequency for a lot of airports out here in the Bahamas. We'll see if we hear anybody going in or out of Bimini. Number one, Tango Bravo, contact Miami Center, 135.6. 36, one Tango Bravo, have a good day. See you. Good morning, Miami, no, ready five, one Tango Bravo, 5,000, direct Bimini. Number eight, five, one Tango Bravo, Miami Center, roger. Miami, altimeter three, zero, two, five. Two, five, and we'd like to start down whenever you're ready for one Tango Bravo. All right, it's gonna take a couple of minutes, stand by. Roger. Oh, I see why, we got a, a guy right here in front of us, 1,300 feet below us, so. Gonna keep us high until we get past him. There's a reason for the madness. Take a look at four flight. You can see this was our routing that we filed. Also, I've got this new feature on called breadcrumbs where you can see where your track has been. That's pretty cool. And right now we are off our course that we filed for it because they gave us direct booney. So we'll go down here. Direct to November 851 Tango Bravo. We send uh, maintain 3000, report cancellation when you're able. Down at 3000 and we'll report canceling when able, one Tango Bravo. 
3,000 set up in the altitude selector. Go down about 1,000 feet a minute. So yeah, that new breadcrumbs feature is pretty cool. They also have a new 3D uh, satellite view that you can look at any airport that you want to, that you're going to be flying to, to kind of map it out before it, uh, you get there. You can go to MYBS, hit the go. Now let's check out the 3D view over at Bimini. So there it is. Look at this. You can scroll around. That's going to be our runway. Runway one zero. That's our island. How cool is that? New 3D view feature. You can see the whole layout of the land of where we're going to be going. Close that back up and go back to our map. I've been using Forward Flight for a couple years now, and it's a game changer. Uh, all the new features they keep coming out with, you think it's as good as it gets, and it just keeps getting better. Bimini, TBM, 17 miles to the west, inbound Bimini. I'm just monitoring two frequencies right now. It's a lot to listen to, but the more you do it, the easier it gets. Once we get a good visual, we'll cancel here. There we go. I mean, November 85, one Tango Bravo, we'll cancel IFR. One Tango Bravo, cancellation received, squawk VFR, frequency change approved, good evening. Roger, we'll be squawking VFR, frequency change approved, November 85, one Tango Bravo, thanks for help. Alright, so we got 1200 in the transponder, we're now flying on visual rules. We'll continue on down to 1000 feet. Bimini traffic, TBM, we're 12 miles to the west, descending through 3000, down to 1000 inbound Bimini. I'm going to let you guys decide something real quick. Do you guys just want to go right in and land, straight in? Or would you like me to do a little fly by down the beach of Bimini and show you the resort and the different buildings and stuff? What would you like to do? The flyby? All right, okay. Flyby it is. If you guys want the scenic tour, we'll take give you the scenic tour. This could probably add like maybe one more minute on the flight than what it was projected to be. Since you guys asked for it, I try to please you to the viewers. You guys did bring your passports, right? Alright. Even though it's so close to the United States, you know, this is another country. So you, some people don't realize you need to bring your passports on this short little trip. Wow, those are some big swells down there in the ocean. I would not want to be on a boat there, guys, with all those white caps, and plus, I can see some pretty big swells. It's a rough one out there. So let's disconnect the autopilot. I've been holding down the button, that shortens the beep, so it's not so loud so long in the, your ears. Put the odd damper back on. Have a little hand, fun hand flying it here. Go back out of 850 mode, so now the flap lever is just up, the up position. I can no longer advance the torque 100 past 100%, but we won't need that. We're actually going to be slowing it up here. All right, so this is going to be Bimini. We're going to start from the north end. We're going to do a nice steep turn here to the right to get aligned with the beach, which will put us on a left base for one zero. All right, here we go. We'll do a steep turn to the right. My buddy Dion. I don't know if he's down there today. He actually flies caravans on floats out of this area. Lucky guy, right? They do, they have a, a water runway that they use down here. The radar in front of us here, this is the resort we're going to stay at. You can see the larger building, the Hilton. And we'll go wings level here. Alright. Now, as so you can see, so there's the Hilton. Got a nice infinity pool down there, too, across the street. Bimini traffic, caravan taxi in the 1 0. Bimini. Caravan taking off. Look at the waves down there in that beach, guys. Wow. That wind is kicking today. We're going to have a wind right down the runway. Bimini traffic, TBM, 3 mile left base for 1 0, Bimini. All right, so we're gonna go first notch flaps. We're within the, we're within the flap speed range. Caravan, uh, got you. We'll wait for you for uh, Bimini traffic. Roger, thanks. Bimini traffic. You're gonna have a TBM. We're gonna be turning a uh, short final here into one zero Bimini. All right, gear down selected. We're actually gonna go right direct to the numbers to 
save time for this caravan. Look at the water out there. It never gets old out here in the Bahamas. All right, gear down. We got a runway right out there in front of us. We got another resort right over here to our left. I've never stayed at this one. But look at the, I mean, the water is insane. Over here, right off the left wing here is where the tiger sharks come in. You, if you want to do the a tiger, 500. tiger shark dive, that's where you're going to go. Where we're going to go is over closer to the town where the bull sharks are going to be. They say the bull sharks are the most aggressive, more aggressive than hammerheads. All right, so we're all lined up. Got a nice long runway out here in the Bahamas. A little, little bumpy with the wind. It's coming straight down the runway, which is good. It's gusting around. Probably doesn't look bumpy in the cameras, but it, it is a little bit. There's the ramp and there's the caravan over on the left. All right, so we're gonna go back to flight idle. Go into the flare. Nice smooth landing on the center line and everything. I always say it's better to be lucky than good. Go back into reverse, slow it up. Pull back in the yoke, use the uh, that also for braking. Drop the airflow over the airplane. We almost made the taxiway. We'll do just a quick little U turn here and get on the ramp. Let that caravan get out of here. Welcome to the Bahamas, guys. Thanks for riding along with me. And thanks for waiting, Caravan. We're clearing another ramp. All right, no problem. Have a good flight. Thank you. So yeah, that caravan's going over to the water uh, landing area where we just flew by. So welcome to Bimini, guys. It was so much fun having you on board. Look at all these planes, man. Busy day. If you did like that video, please smash the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, but don't go anywhere. We're gonna get on this booster board, go clear customs and then be on our way down to the resort and uh, see if we can go find some sharks. This look good to you guys, park right here. It's like choose your own adventure. I used to love those books when I was a kid. We just got done clearing customs, piece of cake. Now we're gonna catch a ride and go get on a ferry to continue on to the hotel. Polly came from Miami, FLA. Hitchhiked away across the USA. We got switched out into our adventure gear. I heard there's some pretty big sharks around this area. Let's go see if we can go jump in the water with them. Arrived here at the Neil Watson Bimini Scuba Center. I, for one, am not a fan of swimming with dangerous sharks. We're gonna walk down to the end of this dock and they got a cage. They're gonna put you on scuba tanks. You jump the waters and the sharks will come. We're down here on the uh, dock. I'm here with my buddy Kev. He works here at Neil Watson's yeah. Scuba Dive Center. Show us what you have all set up here. All right, so our cage is about uh, 10 feet and the objective is to get these sharks as close as possible. So right. Sometimes they bump into the cage and sometimes they bite on the cage. Wow, so we want to keep our arms and legs inside the cage. Inside the vehicles at all times. <laughs> inside the vehicle. Thanks Kev for the little tour. No it's time to jump in here guys, let's yeah. do this. Let's get wet.
All right, we just got done in the shark cage here at Bimini. It was amazing being able to be that close to predator sharks like that and still be safe. Uh, having them hit the cage was really intense when you're inside of it. And uh, those little remores were pretty feisty too. I don't know if you guys can see, but they were going against my legs and they, uh, I think one went towards the camera at one point. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video, flying over from Miami to Bimini in the uh, TBM and exploring the island here with me. If you did, please smash that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and we'll talk to you again someday soon.